what happens when our training data is too big to fit on our machine, or training the model starts to take hours? We go to the cloud, of course. When you have a lot of data, such that you can't reasonably run the training on your local machine, or the size of that data is larger than your hard drive, it's time to look at other options. One solid option is to shift the machine learning training to another computer with access to more storage, thus freeing up your hard drive space and allowing you to work on other things while that training is taking place. Let's break down exactly what parts need to be moved into the cloud. It's useful to think about our training as needing two primary resources, compute and storage. What's interesting here is that we don't have to tie them together quite as tightly as you might at first expect. We can decouple them, which yields specialized systems for both. And this can lead to efficiencies of scale when you're dealing with big data. Now, compute load is moved around easily enough, but the moving of large data sets, that can be a bit more involved. However, if your data set is truly large, the results are worthwhile, as it allows the data to be accessed by many machines in parallel that are working on your machine learning training job. Google Cloud Platform has a couple of easy ways to tie together these abstractions. First, we'll want to make sure that our data is on Google Cloud Storage, or GCS. We can do this using a variety of tools. For the smaller to medium data sets, just use GSUtil. It's a command line tool that was specifically made for interacting with Google Cloud Storage. And it supports a dash M option that allows for sending multiple streams in parallel, thus speeding up your transfer job. But if your data is too big to send over the network, you can use the Google Transfer Appliance, which is literally a machine that will be shipped to your data center to securely capture and transfer a whole petabyte of data. With a typical network bandwidth of, say, 100 megabits per second, it would take three years to upload a petabyte of data over the network. Even if you had a gigabit connection, it would still take four months. Now, who wants to wait that long? The Transfer Appliance, on the other hand, can capture a petabyte of data in just 25 hours. That's crazy fast. Now that our data is in the cloud, we're ready to run machine learning training at scale. But that's a whole topic of its own, which we will cover in our next episode. Training machine learning models on large data sets can be challenging to accomplish with limited compute and storage resources, but it doesn't have to be that way. By moving to the cloud via either GSUtil or the transfer appliance, you can train on large data sets without any hiccups. I'm Yufeng Guo, and thanks for watching this episode of Cloud AI Adventures. On our next episode, we'll be exploring the other side of running machine learning in the cloud, the compute side. We'll even be exploring the options when it comes to GPUs. But for now, remember, when you need to do machine learning on big data sets, put your data in the cloud. Thanks for watching this episode. And if you're enjoying this series, please let me know by liking the video. And if you want more machine learning action, be sure to subscribe to the channel to catch future episodes as they come out. Thanks for watching that episode of Cloud AI Adventures. You can catch the whole series here. And if you have any thoughts and comments, feel free to leave them down below.